Hi, this is Dale from Power Equipment Direct. I get a lot of questions from all the power equipment stores as to how ethanol fuel is affecting their equipment. Uh, what you have to do is you have to remember, ethanol is nothing more than corn alcohol, and corn alcohol attracts moisture. Uh, what happens is the ethanol in the fuel, when it meets the air, uh, will begin to pull moisture out of that air, and those molecules will bond together. Once they do, they become heavier than the fuel molecules, and they settle to the bottom of the tank. Uh, all power equipment all draws its fuel at the bottom of the tank. So what happens when you go to start the equipment, the first um, thing you're pulling out of the fuel tank is nothing but that ethanol water mix without any gasoline. Um, so what can you do about it? Uh, when buying fuel, always remember, buy 89 octane fuel, which is a mid-grade or better, and buy it with nothing more than 10% ethanol added. Uh, no E85, no 15% ethanol. Uh, only buying a 30-day quantity because fuel will start to deteriorate after 30 days. Uh, only buy from a name brand high volume gas station. You don't want to buy fuel that's already been sitting in a tank for 20 or 30 days and then use it in your equipment. Uh, also, always add a name brand fuel treatment at the time you purchase the fuel. Best thing is, is to put it in the fuel can before you add the fuel so it mixes thoroughly. What you don't want to do is add a fuel treatment to a fuel you've already had for 30 days because then you're just stabilizing it in that condition and not when it's fresh. Um, when using fuel, always shake the can for 30 seconds before fueling. What that does is it will mix the alcohol, ethanol, and the water back into the fuel, and it'll all go through and burn at the same time. Um, only fill the tank with as much fuel as you think you're going to use. If you're only going to use a snowblower for 10 minutes, you don't need a full tank. When you go to store the equipment, always store the fuel in a cool, dry place. Always use a self-venting plastic can. When the equipment, always run the engine dry or drain the fuel from your equipment after the season's ended. You always want to make sure you do that. If Always run as much as you can. Put the choke on, prime it, whatever you got to do to try and keep that engine running. When it no longer will run anymore, whatever fuel's left will have been treated already and won't do any damage to the equipment over the year. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please contact me at powerequipmentdirect.com. Thank you.